Hello everyone. In this session, I am going to explain the interview question. Explain the line of code that is web driver driver is called new Firefox driver. This is our question, guys. Okay. Interviewer interviewer is asking you to explain this particular statement that I have highlighted here. That is web driver driver is called new Firefox driver. Fine. So you can start explaining like this, guys. Uh, maybe you can step by step you can start explaining. Okay. You can mention the following points. Okay, you can mention the following points for 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 uh, explaining what exactly the statement means. First, let's break the statement into multiple items. Let's say you can start explaining by saying about web driver first. Web driver is an interface in Selenium. You can mention. Okay, you can mention that web driver is an interface in Selenium, and uh, there you can also mention Firefox driver is a class in Selenium. Okay. In this statement, the first two points that you are mentioning here are first you are stating that web driver is an interface. The next point you will mention that Firefox driver in this particular statement is nothing but a class in Selenium. Once you are done done explaining these two two things in this particular statement, then you can say that in this statement, in this statement, okay, we are creating an object for Firefox driver class using new new keyword. You know about new keyword in Java, right? This creates an object for the this this class whatever that is class name mentioned here as part of the constructor also okay new class it will create an object for this firefox driver then what are the object that got created for for this firefox driver class here will be assigned to the will be assigned to the reference variable of web driver interface so at a high level you have to say like in this statement we are creating an object for the firefox driver class and then after creating we are assigning it to the reference variable of the web driver interface so this is a straightforward answer guys you can break you can mention that web driver is an interface followed by firefox driver is a class and in this statement you are creating an object for firefox driver class and then assigning it to the reference variable of the web driver interface these are the three lines that are required guys for for uh, straightforwardly ex uh, explaining what this particular statement means and still if you want to add more value to your to the question or to the answer okay then you have to take up these points if you want to add more value to your answer then you have to take up these points so we can start by explaining that uh, this statement is generally used because web driver driver is called new firefox is used over firefox driver is called driver is called new firefox driver instead of creating firefox driver is called new firefox driver okay instead of creating Firefox driver is equal to new Firefox driver. We are doing the we, we are saying that this particular statement is preferable. Okay, web driver driver is called new Firefox driver is preferable over Firefox driver is equal to new Firefox driver. Why it is preferable? You can explain here. Okay, the reason behind why web driver driver is called new Firefox driver is preferable over Firefox driver is called new Firefox driver is in real time in as part of the frameworks. Okay, there may be a possibility like you you simply will pass the browser name to your reusal method and that reusal method should take your browser name and based on the browser name received by that reusal method that reusal method will will create an object for the appropriate class and assign it to the web driver interface okay so at a high level we need to create a reusal method to which we will generally pass the browser name as an input once you get a browser name as an input okay and that reusal method should launch the appropriate browser based on the browser name it received it received okay this is the reason but can't we do the same thing with firefox driver is equal to new firefox driver we can still do that but we can optimize the code guys okay if you are using web driver driver is equal to new firefox driver you can optimize the code for example you cannot assign you cannot create an object for chrome driver driver is equal to new firefox driver you cannot do that or you cannot create something like this uh, internet explorer driver driver is equal to new firefox driver you cannot do that right but you can do like this web driver driver is equal to new firefox driver you can do web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver you can do web driver driver is equal to new internet explorer driver also you can do. but you cannot create objects for the individual drivers and assign to a different type of driver right so that is one reason and if you want to contribute more to your answer in a practical way okay 
this this is the one guys like uh, you you can say that uh, we can assign the objects of any of these classes that is firefox driver class or chrome driver class or internet explorer driver class to the web driver interface okay this is possible that's why we create this kind of statements instead of going for the this kind of statements in real time you may not be using these things you will be using in real time these things because this driver classes can be assigned to the web, web drivers interface it may be chrome driver firefox driver or internet explorer driver objects all those things can be assigned to the web drivers object reference fine now let me practically explain in real world so let's say there is a class and inside that there is a main method also now let's write some program to uh, to just uh, to implement this concept okay i am going to implement this concept to support this concept i am going to practically explain some example here so here let's uh, keep this main method like this now i am creating another reusable method i am creating guys whatever the reusable method i was saying right to which you will be passing the browser name and based on that reusable method once it receives the browser name should run the appropriate browser so you can see that how web driver driver is called new firefox driver will help in this case okay how the code can be optimized you can see public static void main you can give any name i will say launch browser in this case i will say launch browser here i will say browser name you will be passing the browser name to this method user method so here just you will be calling this method from here and in this you will be passing some file let's say firefox you are passing firefox name for the first time now here if sorry if this browser name dot equals there are two ways guys so you can go with the uh, dot equals or dot equals ignore case okay equals is something like even uh, it's case sensitive guys okay capital letter is not equal to the small letter in this case if you use equals but if you are fine with that level of uh, if you want to ignore the case sensitiveness then you can go with the equals ignore case okay it will ignore the case it will only check whether the names are same but it will not see whether the f is capital or small and all those stuff it will ignore it okay here i will say firefox if if the browser name that is passed to this particular method is firefox then you will say that you will write some code like this web driver manager dot firefox driver dot setup driver uh, here you will say firefox i am going with the hard way first after that i will optimize the code okay i will replace this statement later point of time you can create like this right okay import it then else if this browser name dot equals ignore case is equal to chrome browser in this case we'll, we'll write other statements like this web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup okay here you will say chrome driver driver is equal to new chrome driver you will say fine this is also fine now else if browser name dot equals ignore case if it is i okay if it is i browser then you have to say web driver manager dot ie driver dot setup internet explorer driver driver is equal to new internet explorer driver done okay it's done this thing will work guys this thing will work okay what are the method you will call it will work but long run it will not work suppose okay so what you can do here is now i want to after launching the browser i want to close the browser what i will say guys driver dot i cannot say right driver dot i cannot say why what is the reason behind this because this driver is this drive this driver is limited to this if block this driver is limited to this if block this else if block this particular driver of internet explorer driver is limited to this life lifespan is up to this else if block only now that is a problem guys that is a problem 
I have to make it global. How to make it global then? How to make all these things global? Do I have to create three objects here? No, right? That's not the correct way. So what I will do here is I will I will create define something like this. Okay, web driver driver is equal to null. Now I can here import two. Okay, then I will remove this. Here also I will remove this. Here also I will remove. Okay, you, you see how much flexibility you are getting, guys. Right? You can make it global. You can just make it static, guys. Uh, that it will work. Okay. You see? So once you create an object for the web driver interface, once you create a reference variable for the web driver interface, to this reference variable, you can assign the object of Firefox driver class. You can uh, to the same reference variable, you can assign the object of the Chrome driver class. To the same object reference, you can assign the variable of the uh, assign the object of the Internet Explorer driver class also. This is a, this is advantage, guys. Okay. If you go with only one version like Firefox driver, you cannot assign the object of the Chrome driver to the Firefox driver's object reference, right? You got you are getting my point, right, guys? That's that is what is required. That's why we use web driver driver is called new Firefox driver or web driver driver is called new Chrome driver, web driver driver is called new Internet Explorer driver instead of directly creating the with their class names, directly using their class names. Say so thread dot sleep for uh, demo purpose. Two seconds, and here I will say driver dot. You can use driver dot quit this time. Okay, now guys, I am passing the browser name as Firefox to this reusable method. Let's see, uh, only this block should be executed. Okay, Firefox driver should be launched. Let me run it. Right click run as the application. You see, the Firefox browser got launched, guys. Now, uh, this time I will give, I, I will pass Chrome, Chrome name into the launch browser. I'll call the user method for Chrome, run as Java application. Okay. Chrome browser is launched. Chrome browser is launched. Now, if you pass IE, I browser will be launched. Like this, guys. This statement is very helpful, right? Web driver driver is equal to new Firefox driver. Such kind of statements are required while creating such kind of reusable methods. Done. Okay. So that's it, guys. Now to explain this question as much as possible in your own way, so that interviewer will feel that you are very you you know a lot of stuff. Okay. You can you can write down you can just mention what actually the statement is then you can explain the concept behind that then you can uh, write the program a piece of you can ask him a piece of paper and uh, start explaining like how you are using it in the real time okay how you are using web driver drivers for you add as many points of as possible guys okay so he will be patiently listening and understanding like how much you know how, how much you can answer and you can get more confidence on you if you answer as much as possible so that's it guys thank you bye